example of using the program QTVLM to solve an exercise in our uh, GRIB school uh, practices, uh, number 1D. And so we have this set up. Here is the, uh, the GRIB file that we downloaded for the K for this exercise. This target here, this line is we've set the chat, we've set the target at Paololo. So this is a line that goes right straight to Paololo channel. This is where the grid, this is where the start of the exercise is. And then we've been about a mile into this like this. And then here is the setup. The polar that we're using is the uh, this one from the far 40 and this has a this display has a very nice feature you can move this around and read the values at any one we actually have 21 see there's only data in the original polar graph of a, a, a 20 but we can move that up to 21 and then interpolate that so it's a very nice presentation of the polar diagram for example right now we're going let's see this we're going 21 the speed of the wind is 21 knots, true, and we're a true wind angle of 130. And so 130 is somewhere there, and we should be going 11.82, and this shows 11.8, so that's right. Okay, so this is a very handy way to study polar diagrams uh, once you have it loaded. And you can also show all the, all them and so forth like that. Uh, the different winds. Okay, so here's the boat. We're underway. The instruments are on. I have to come back and make another video to show how to set this up. But effectively, what this is, we load the polar, set the right start time on here, and then we start the simulator, set up the instruments, and then this will, we drive the boat over here, left or right is the rudder, and then when we change the rudder, it's the speed. We don't control the speed. The speed is totally set by that polar. So because if I change the angle, I change the true wind angle, it goes on the polar and gets the speed and makes the boat speed like that. And so what we're trying to optimize is the speed. Right now we're going 11.8 knots in, in this direction. There's no current. So if I had SOG here, SOG and speed through the water would be the same would be exactly the same. Uh, well, there's some other data you can read this way. Okay, and this is a direct, but we want to project this down and optimize the speed in this direction. And so now here's the thing. This is already done. I'll just tell you the answer. This program, I just said where we want to go. This program knows the polar diagram and it knows what the winds are. And, it, and uh, so it's told us that angle right there is the right answer. So we just drive the boat, you know, if we're using this as real navigation, we just drive the boat till it points in that direction right there, and we're done. So that's the answer. But the, so the question is, our, our case said this was at, um, uh, this should the answer should be 283 and peak out. Now, we're at different, slightly, this is 20 knots of wind. We're at 21. So then our number is going to be probably a little higher than this, but it should still peak out roughly here at 283. 283 should be the right answer. Okay, so then, and then we can also do this with this program. I can take a long press on this and get a graph, okay? Now I've got a graph going. Okay, so now then I'm just going to start a slow turn to the left and watch watch the VMC as the, um, let's see if that's fast enough, 134, 135, 136, 137. Yeah, that's going down there. Oh, okay. Now you see we're optimizing. We're optimizing. Now right about when it gets here, bang, right there, and it had like 12.3, and that was heading uh, 280. Uh, it should have been 280. I have to check it, but it, it will be 283. But you see what's going on. This type of software, when you can do this, now I've gone far enough there, I can go back. And so... Um, now I want to go back and see what that heading is. I'm going to turn the other way now and go back. Um, uh, let me see, is it going back? Yeah. And so I want to stop at uh, what, oh, well, it's got to be something like the peak is going to be at like 283, 280, 281, 282, 283, 12.3. 
presumably that's the peak speed at 21. Remember the exact example, we did 20. And so that was a little different. But anyway, so there's the answer. There's a kind of, this kind of tool is pretty powerful for solving these problems. And if you play with the diagram and you'll see why I get 12.3 and the other had, what answer did it have? It had 10.8, but you would, let's see, is that VMC? Oh no, here's VMC 11.3. 11.3 at 21, what's our win? 21 knots compared to 10.8 at 20. And you could play with a polar and see that that's exactly consistent. So that's that exercise. It shows the power of this program. And we also, like I say, we need to have the video, uh, a long press here to shut that off. Now we need to have the video to show how to set this up. This program has a lot of controls. And so we need to have a you know, like a checklist of, of setting it up so it all works well, which it does.